police tape is still up near the corner of Main Street and East 48th Avenue. Last night, officers responded to reports of shots fired shortly after 11. We hear the gunshot and then we stand and came to this side of the street and we'll see there's a guy run away from that side and he, the car was here. So we go into the car and run away with the car. Police say the victim was 30-year-old Amin Shahin Shakur. Shakur, who was better known as Sean by friends, was a familiar face in the neighborhood. Always a smile, holding down the block, man. Like, made this a city again for everybody. Brought the community together, it's crazy. Mind-blowing, to say the least. DeLong says Shakur helped run the two popular businesses where he was shot outside a marijuana dispensary, and a specialty snack shop called Dank Mart. Both businesses have been behind police tape since last night. It's crazy to see like their success that they've had and like just for it to come to like an abrupt end. Every time you come into the store, the menu changes. We don't like to keep the same yeah. items. Shakur and the company's co-founder were seen promoting their businesses in recent YouTube videos. Today, he posted several Instagram messages in memory of Shakur, saying they were just getting their businesses started. Police say it appears Shakur may have been targeted, and there is no further risk to the public. I don't have what his interaction with police was. Uh, I don't believe he has any criminal charges, but he has had run-ins with police in the past. Back at the scene, a tribute to Shakur is growing. Everybody is heartbroken and shook, at a loss for words. You know, it's. Um, I don't think the. I don't think the community has many words other than, I'm sorry. I know him. He's a nice guy. Always, he just pick up the garbage around this area, and the, the business was doing very well. And always, I see the queue people's. Police are asking anyone in the neighborhood who has surveillance or dash cam footage to contact them as they work on solving the city's fourth homicide in the past two weeks. Eva Yuguen Senj, CBC News, Vancouver.